Hey, welcome everybody. It's Bubba Solo here from Bubba Solo Gaming. And today I'm hunting at a ground blind near South Lake. And I'm on Connor's Mission 8. She wants me to shoot three Roosevelt elk from a ground blind at South Lake. And there is at least one ground blind that's at the lake. Of course, you can bring along a portable blind if you want. And I've been hearing a couple elk around and some deer and then these bunnies came in and I'm doing a night hunt where I'm, I'm not turning on my headlamp. I want to shoot this bunny. Got the 300 grain arrows in. Should be fine between the first and second pin there on the five pin sight. That looks good. I love these knocks. It's part of the, uh, the night hunting DLC that I got these uh, arrows and I really love them I, I like seeing my my prey lying there it didn't look to be a diamond bunny or anything but it's always fun to shoot a bunny with a bow and it's kind of tough hitting them sometimes of course there's one of the white tails over there talking to me every time I come out of the stands I sort of get disoriented so sorry about going off course there here's my trophy I do love the uh, glowing knocks. I think it's a really nice touch. Okay, so you really never get vital organs on these things, but you get integrity anyway, as long as you use the proper ammunition. I use a 300 grain arrow, so we're all good there. And I'm going to get uh, $443 or whatever the monetary unit is there. So I'm satisfied with that first shot. Okay, uh, now it's a little bit later, and... I had an elk come in, just a female elk that I shot. You can see that there's the blood trail from that one. But I also heard these whitetails that were just beyond this tree over here. It's a group of whitetails, and I tried calling them in, and they wouldn't come. So I was really hoping to sneak up on them. So, so far, I've used in this hunt, I used 300 grain arrows on the bunnies, a 600 grain arrow on the female Roosevelt elk, and it looked like she did not go very far. And now I'm about ready to use the 420 grain arrows on a buck, if I can get a shot here. I'm trying to stay super quiet, look at my noise meter, it's really low. And my visibility here in this tree, zilcho. Got nothing. So there's the buck I want to shoot. I mean, it's not an impressive buck or anything, but the distance. I think it's going to be like just a straight middle pin distance. The wind's blowing, but it's not bad. It's blowing to the side, so I shouldn't have to compensate much for it at all. Yeah, it's you know, 23 meters away, so it's, it's pretty much middle pin. 30, 30 meters is right for the middle pin in this five pin site. So hold it maybe a little bit low. I would never take this shot in real life straight on, but I tried calling to these critters and it wouldn't come. Okay, that looks good. See how far he runs. <laughs> not far. Not far. And I do love these arrows. And especially, you know, without the headlamp on, I like to not see the tracks glowing at night. I like to actually use the tracer arrows for what they're meant for, which is tracing down things you shot. So here's the female Roosevelt elk. I wouldn't have normally shot her either, except for the fact that I have to get three from a ground blind. So anyway... It's a good shot on her. Left lung, right lung, great penetration. It was a super short shot. It's 7.9 meters. She was basically knocking on the blind door. And obviously it got vital. Look at that. Five organs hit. And it sure didn't get far. And like I said, it's not a big buck or anything, but I'm very happy to have downed him. Yep, silver. Uh, looks like I got liver, so that's how I get full integrity there, full, full harvest score. Fun hunt. Thank you for joining me for this night hunt. No headlights, all grains of arrows. For more Boa Solo gaming content, click here to subscribe and click here to watch more videos.